Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use Vala Drive from GRC.com to validate the full capacity of a USB drive, SD card or SSD solid state drive or HDD hard disk drive. Download Vala Drive from https colon double forward slash www.grc.com forward slash valadrive.htm. Quickly spot check any USB mass storage drive for fraudulent deliberately missing storage. The drive maps above are typical of the fraudulent drives which are flooding the market. This shows a drive sold as 2 terabytes, 2 terabytes, which actually only contains 62 gigabytes, 62 gigabytes of flash storage. Please see Vala Drive's complete report about this drive below. While putting the finishing touches on the major update to Spinrite version 6.1, one of Spinrite's pre-release testers encountered a drive that Spinrite flagged as unable to be used. It turned out this drive only contained storage at its front. After becoming aware of this significant problem in the industry, I purchased 12 inexpensive 1 and 2 terabyte thumb drives from Amazon, and every one of them was a bogus fraudulent drive. Why is this a serious problem? At first this might seem like a minor annoyance, you purchase a 1 or 2 terabyte drive at a bargain price and you receive a 64 gigabytes drive instead. But that's not what happens here. The drive appears to be the 1 or 2 terabyte drive you purchased. You plug it into your computer and everything looks fine. You can even copy files to the drive, as many as you want. And when you look at the drive's contents the files are there. But what's insidious is that the file's contents may have never been stored. These fraudulent drives contain just enough storage, typically 64 gigabytes, to convincingly hold the file system's directory listing. But once its first 64 gigabytes of storage space has been filled, the contents of any additional files will not actually be stored. Their names, dates and sizes will be stored in the directory at the front of the drive. Everything will appear to be fine but the file's contents will be blank because they were stored where no storage exists. Operating systems do not verify that the data they write was actually written. They rely upon the honesty of storage devices to report errors. If a write error occurs, then the operating system will rewrite the data elsewhere. But these deliberately fraudulent drives never report any problems, they just silently discard any data written where there's no storage. The first indication of a problem occurs when you attempt to read back a stored file. Even that will appear to work, but the file itself will be empty. But wait! There's more. Of course there is. While Vala Drive is poking around your USB drive, it notes the length of time required for each random read and write access. Once it's finished, it analyzes and summarizes the drive's access time statistics in a final report. You can get started with Vala Drive right away. The following pages contain additional information to answer any questions and help you get the most out of Vala Drive. Vala Drive version 1.0.1 .1. Quickly spot check any USB connected mass. Storage drive for read write errors and fraud. What is Vala Drive? Vala Drive conducts a data preserving, 576 region spot check to test the readability, writability, and true storage presence of any drive of any size connected to any Windows USB port. Why was this created? During the development of Spinrite version 6.1, GRC's premier mass storage maintenance and data recovery system, we detected that fraudulent and substandard quality USB flash drives had become a real problem. These no-brand drives claim high capacity and low cost. They are readily found on Amazon, eBay, etc. Was this too good to be true? Yes. It is not true. Their low quality makes their use risky, and many deliberately misrepresent their size, claiming to be far larger than they actually are. This misrepresentation is diabolical because a drive with much less actual storage will not be detected during normal use by any operating system. So users will be storing data to such drives believing that their data is safe until they later attempt to read it back and find that it was never stored. Such files will appear in the drive's directory as if they are stored, but only their directory entry will have been made. Vala Drive was created to perform a quick sanity check of any USB thumb drive, pen drive, SSD or spinning mechanical drive that can be accessed through USB. 
Also, once we saw the wide range of flash drive performance, a performance analysis was added to Vala Drive summary report. All data should be preserved. Vala Drive has been thoroughly tested and it is very careful to restore the data in the 576 regions it tests. No data has ever been lost during extensive pre-release testing. But it's conceivable that a damaged drive might fail during Vala Drive's testing. So, if you have critical data on the drive that's about to be tested it might be best to copy it elsewhere for absolute safety. Beyond Vala Drive Rather than spot checking 576 regions of drives, GRC's commercial product, Spinrite, performs complete and exhaustive testing of every byte of storage claimed by any drive. This has been shown to be useful for long term drive maintenance, and Spinrite is usually able to recover data that operating systems and other recovery tools cannot. GRC Spinrite web pages and testimonials tell the whole story. Additional assistance. GRC's web forums located at forums.grc.com are filled with well-mannered and knowledgeable tech enthusiasts. Any problem or question you might have can be answered by the terrific people there. Note that the copied button below may be used to copy all or part of this text to the Windows or clipboard, where it can be pasted into WordPad, Microsoft Word, Notepad, or another text editor for saving or printing. Additional Vala Drive information is available at GRC's website. Please check GRC's Vala Drive page for additional information and usage tips. Steve Gibson I hope you found this video useful. Please like share or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next one.